All righty, YouTube. Nikkei is live, and your boy is going to be taking a look at the Viper Favor item. I do care about this, so I do want to see what the Viper Favor item is looking like. Um, so, yes, Viper did get a Favor item with this update, which obviously is silly because they said they were going to get one every two months. But I guess, I guess now maybe starting every two months from this point. I don't know. But let's take a look and see what happened. So, her favorite item skill. All she had before is when the target appeared affects all allies for 10 seconds, they would get a... 26% attack buff and a 11% hit rate buff for 10 seconds. Now they also get the same thing, but only activates when attacking in vamp status, which is one of her moves. Um, sustained damage. Wow, they are they really pushing this type of meta? Sustained damage, new meta, sustained damage. Come on, bro. Sustained damage stacking. Um, 10 times it lasts for 10 seconds. Hit rate that stacks for uh, up to 10 times 1.84 percent and then the sustained damage is 4.4 percent stacks up to 10 times lasts for 10 seconds each they're really trying to push these metas bro okay the burst skill um oh my okay so affects the <laughs> affects the enemy unit deals 1000 percent of final attack as damage right um and before it used to be 462 percent and then before she also lowered the defense if um Activate when designated enemy unit includes the stage target. Okay, so when it was like the main boss, right? Now when the main boss comes out, um, lowers their defense still, and then deals 105.3% of final attack and sustained damage every one second for 10 seconds. What is this damage over time? Why are they pushing this meta? Okay, fine. Um, her first or her second skill, my bad, used to just give hit rate continuously. And then vamp status prevented her from getting attacked by single attack, like single target attacks um, when you enter the full burst. Now the hit rate buff is 22% basically continuously. And then it looks like vamp prevents self from being hit from target single target attacks continuously. Loses effect when the caster gets uh, takes damage. Invulnerable for one second. Wow. What? Activates when using burst skill affects all allies re enter your burst stage two? Wait, what? Do we want that? I mean, I guess I can use it with crown. I. Or I guess I can use it with Rosanna and Sakura. Oh? But it's like you literally want. They're, these favorite items, it's like they keep pushing these metas. It's like when they release a character with a favorite item, they they release these metas. I swear. Like, is that a good thing or a bad thing, y'all? Because now it's like, if you want this favorite item, you kind of need to have Rosanna and Sakura. Right? If you want to use this character in a favorite item, you kind of need to have the new Sakura. You kind of need to have the new Rosanna. It's just how it is. Right? So she's really good for Sakura Rosanna. But why do they keep dropping favorite items and revamping the character to fit one meta team? Or not a meta team, but fit a meta. Are we happy with that? I mean, I'm not I, I'm not disappointed. Honestly, I'm not disappointed, but like I don't know. I'm not mad. I think it's cool, but they keep pushing these metas. So do I have to worry about the favorite item always just being catered to the, whatever the banner unit is? Like Clay and then Freeman and Laplace and now free, uh, Viper with these two girls? I don't know. I don't hate it though. Because I think she's pretty decent. I think she's going to do damage. I think she's going to do damage. Um, this damage over time, sustained damage might be a broken meta, especially when fighting mobs. Um, it, this new sustained damage might be crazy. We have to summon for Sakura, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm not mad. I think it's good because she's giving herself a sustained damage buff too. 4.4% that stacks up to 10 times. That's a 44, right? That's a 40.4 D percent sustained damage buff for herself, which isn't bad. And then you, because she re-enters the burst too, Having her with Rosanna is really good. 
And not only that, she, the only thing is she's not really buffing up all allies. She's only just buffing up herself. There's nothing here that's really helping out all allies. Right? Besides this. But the vamp status gives it to herself. The attack buff and hit rate gives it to all allies. So she's not really doing anything for the team besides this. Which makes me want to believe she's meant to be a DPS. That's the whole narrative. That's what they're pushing. They're pushing for her to be a burst 2 DPS, which I like. I like how they're trying to make burst 1s and burst 2s DPS. Because if I remember correctly, is Viper not an attacker? Is Viper an attacker? Yeah, Viper's an attacker. So she's literally meant to do damage regardless. So their favorite item definitely saved her and she will definitely be doing damage with her favorite item. Don't get it twisted. She will definitely be doing damage with her favorite item. But you kind of want her to, again, they literally only put this re-enter burst stage, uh, burst stage two for Rosanna. So they're making it clear, if you're gonna summon for Sakura, if you're gonna get Viper's favorite item, you kind of just want to have them all together. You want Sakura, well, you don't need Sakura with this character. But you want Rosanna with this character, you want Rosanna with Sakura, right? We're going to try out Sakura. Right now, I do think she's a pretty good character. I haven't summoned yet. We're reading the favorite item, and then we're going to go ahead and summon for Sakura. But I do think it's good. I do think it's good. I wish they made it that we can test our favorite items too in the shooting range. That would be good. That would be good. Because then rather than just reading it and being like, oh, it looks good, we can actually test it and see if it's actually good. So I think it's good. I think she's going to hit hard when you use her burst skill 1000%. And then obviously 100% of final attack and sustained damage one every 10 seconds. That's another 1000% multiplier. My dad is calling me. I'm going to have to call him back though. I'm going to have to call him back. Um, That's just a 1000% multiplier on top basically. Because that's damage over time basically, right? So she's good. I'd say she's good. Um... We have to test. So if any of you guys are able to get right, Viper's favorite item, hit your boy up. I would love to try it out. I've already tested out all the other fours. Um, would I say she's better? She might be better than Laplace. Nah, she might be better than Exia. I can see her being better than Exia. Not better than Laplace, though. I, I can see her being better than Exia. Not better than Laplace. We are going to summon right now, chat. We are going to summon in a second. Oh, did we get a... Oh, I thought we got a new one. I just don't have it. Yeah, no. Pretty good. I, right now, off paper, I'm going to give it a, like a 9 or 8 out of 10. Probably an 8 out of 10. For the character, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think she's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. I think it's really going to be good. So, you guys, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the favorite item. And, uh, yeah, it's your boys, the Oxus. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Goodbye. Good day.